I read somewhere you said from like uh, 97 to 07, your earnings dropped like 90%. Yeah. How did you handle th- th- that? By f- well, I was in America until 1997, 1998. I worked quite well and I kind of had a saved income, uh, save, savings and, and I moved to Spain, bought a big house in Marbella. I bought an apartment in Sweden. I had an apartment in Manhattan. Uh, and then I moved to Spain and, you know, being away from Hollywood, you're, you kind of lose touch with everything. So my earnings, instead of getting a hundred, I got 10 per movie. So meanwhile, the overhead staying the, the same. The overhead stayed the same. We got more expensive because the more I cheated on my wife, the more she wanted to spend my money. That's a classic. So, uh, you know, she kind of, she didn't want to come with me on locations or anything. So she kind of knew that I had affairs. But I don't think she cared as long as I paid the bills and bought her a new Ferrari or whatever it was. And um, so it was that kind of relationship, you know. I mean, it wasn't like we were arguing. She was a very nice woman. I mean, I just think that the overhead was huge, you know. Credit card bills every week, maybe every month for like maybe 60 grand for that was her, just her credit card, you know. So, you know, it all adds up, right? Because that's after tax. So, right. How tight did money get? It got pretty tight. And I, what happened was I had to be gone a lot to work all the time. So my kids only saw me on vacations and stuff. And that's because if you weren't gone all the time for doing the work, but, I mean, basically, you aren't going to be able to keep up with no, the, I'm not the bills. Gonna, no, and I, and I finally said, you know, i got to move back to L.A. we got to sell the house here and try to cash in on the house and all of that. But then the financial crisis hit the end of uh, 2010 or something like that. And we got divorced and I moved back to L.A. It started with uh, Expandables, the first one. And that kind of got me back into the big screen. But it took me uh, seven, eight years to get out of the hole, really. Because, you know, the divorce and then those payments and then trying to sell the house in Spain and I had to rebuild that and then I sold the place in Sweden and it just took me a while. Now, shoulda, coulda, woulda, but I, if I would've stayed here, of course, you know, it would've been much easier. I mean, the assets would've been here, it wouldn't have been in Spain and all that, but my kids had an interesting upbringing there and, you know, I, I love Spain, I have a lot of friends there. Uh, but I have to come back here. I, I was surprised to hear you, you say this, that um, you were never 100% committed to your career. No. Um, how so? That's an interesting question. I, it has something to do with that uh, trauma and the escape behavior, sab- self-sabotaging. I mean, I was working hard, I was doing the movies, but I was always Either I'd go back to Spain and lose touch with it, or I would go out drinking and kind of screw up some of my preparation as an actor, or I wasn't really connected emotionally because of the trauma, so I couldn't really deliver what I wanted to deliver as an actor. So with those things against me, it's hard to fully commit. Then I, I chose to kind of commit you know, not fully, but like 80% instead of, now I feel more committed. Like now, if I direct a movie, I want everything to be ex- perfect. I mean, I'll, I'll sit up all night to finish stuff, but I, wouldn't, I wasn't like that back then. 